Aries, this is your five aspects of your self reading for December 2021. Aries, December 2021. Spiritual aspect, you have nine of wands. Intellectual aspect, you have Ten of Swords in reverse. Physical aspect, you have Knight of Wands. Social aspect, you have Seven of Discs in reverse. And emotional aspect, you have Pazuzu, Devil. Angel Lorena message for Aries, December of 2021. The Liel, Angel of Night. Mausolea message for December 2021 for Aries. Set, Prince of Avarice. Avarice. Enchanted Map message for Aries, December 2021. Magical map shifter. Nine of Wands, unshakable strength, obstacles overcome, determination, resolve, steady force, recovery from sickness, iron will. So Aries, spiritually you have the power to overcome all that is surrounding you, all the darkness surrounding you. You have set up these spiritual wands to protect you, shine the light out. You're getting guidance and insight, illumination here, spiritually. So you are being reinforced with spiritual connections. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Insolence and permanence. Temporary authority. Momentary advantage. Time running out. Unrealistic view. Loss of touch with reality. So intellectually you're not aligned spiritually with how you're thinking. So that's a message there. You need to align your thoughts with the spiritual Guidance that you have connections with in December. So December, you have a good spiritual connection, but your mind is leaning more towards your tendency to be the warrior and not the pacifist or the you know lover or forgiver. You like very fueled by anger potentially or justification of how authoritarian anger can be, I guess. I don't know. It's just your mind is like off of their head, but I don't think it's a time for that. I think it's a time for spiritual protection and spiritual guidance. You have the Knight of Wands down here physical, so your heart is probably not in the right place either. Knight of Wands, a young man who is hasty and rash, who acts quickly without thinking, sometimes in violent ways. His temper is explosive, and when it erupts, it scorches anyone who is near. If he does not intimidate or immediately act, he fell, he falls into an indecisive state of mind that paralyzes him because it makes him see both sides of the question equally. Until at, at least, at last, he seizes on on some unconsidered course merely to free himself from doubt. So, you know, it's a, there, this is a very Aryan card. Uh, you rather act and make a mistake than not act. Um, but this is physical, so this is home, finances, um, materialistic, environment, 3D realm. So, physical, health, You know, this coincides with the intellectual, but you also have the spiritual. So you may be misguided in your spiritual connection by being authoritative, ready to run over anybody in your way. Because um, you have the spiritual power to do it. But I don't know if that's necessarily what you should be doing. Maybe you should be 
trying to avoid people and run and instead of running them over because now I'm talking socially because I do see the social seven of discs in reverse here um, but you know financially you know this is not a time to be splooging or spending it's it's to hold on to what you got and spiritually protect yourself as you go through December don't be cutting people's heads off as you go through the month uh, don't be too caught up in your head thinking too much. You might want to just, I don't know, meditate or do something that helps you not think that way. Seven of discs in reverse, misery, enslavement, necessity, loss of place, humble condition, betrayal of trust, business dispute, failed enterprise. So socially, um, you're disappointed, you're upset. Maybe that's why you're like off with their heads. People have betrayed you or you've betrayed people misery enslavement so you feel like you're a slave or you're causing some people to be enslaved um i think this is the main source that's why i have an instinct to talk about social aspects the main source of what's going on here is the social i think it's the main point for you in december you know maybe it's the holidays and some kind of you know not being in that mood of happy the lucky holiday loving thing and you're like guided here but then you're misguided here see what i'm saying so just be careful cthulhu or de the devil defiance of authority rebellion animal vitality brute strength lustfulness personal magnetism dominance reckless courage willfulness arrogance pride it sums up the whole reading <laughs> so it, it's your emotions your heart that's you know and, and it you like this card said you don't know which way you know see both sides of and you're like ah just do act 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 and it's like no you need to take a time out and relax and maybe be a hermit and stay away from people because you have the potential to unleash this giant octopus head monster to destroy a city so be careful you know you don't want to regret what you've done because your emotions got the best of you Laleo, Angel of Night, a fleeting spirit who dances across the sky. Beautiful but aloof. Stars fill the tress, tresses of Laleo's hair. The night passes whether we are lost to quiet murmurs of sleep or star, staring out at a darkened, open expanse of sky. For everything you see, there are a thousand things unseen. You witness the glimmer and the gleaming and of what is truly there. A little passes from star to star, filling the night with light. One would think the darkness, the Lil's realm, however, it is starlight that heralds night's arrival. Star bright, star light, stars light, sorry, star bright, stars light, dance on and on across this night. With what lullabies await us? What glittering night charms will the Lil hang upon the sky for all to see, for all to dream? Signs are wind, sheer cloth, the moon. Hmm. I think this will help with the balance of the spiritual and the intellectual is to be a, at starry night when there's less people. Uh, maybe sleep more during the day if you can. Uh, stay up later. You know, the angel of night is trying to help you see reality for what it is um, with the dreams and nightmares that can potentially not be real because you know the moon is about not perceiving things accurately as well um, false light because it's not from the sun it's a reflection of the sun so just be careful as well with that you know the night and understand like new moon is perfect because you just see a sun a bunch of little suns out in the sky you don't see a reflection of the sun what, what you call stars, right? So, full moon though, even though it shines light at night, it's just a reflection of the sun, the true illumination. And then, you know, there are those, that's why a lot of people tend to see the moon at more important than the sun, but, you know, the moon is not trying to cause problems, it's just trying to balance the yin and yang. So that way you're not just blinded. You can see 
you know, a beautiful reality of all colors. Set, Prince of Avarice, exiled and isolated, set plots with outsiders and demons for the overthrow of Duat, and to undermine the other gods that dwell there, concerned for nothing and no one but his own ambitions. He cannot see that his present state of solitary punishment has been brought about by himself and his jealousy. He desires rulership of the realm, even if he must destroy it and all that it represents to obtain it. He has not considered what will be what he will do once he is a ruler of the, an empty, fu featureless, demon-ridden waste. Set warns us of the dangers of unbridled ambition and self-absorption. Domains, short-sightedness, ambition, and narcissism. Set is warning you, don't be like him. <laughs> don't do what he did. Uh, been there, done that. Okay? It's not good. It's not fun. It sucks. It, you know, that's why he, he wanted out of the desert. And to rule Egypt. And then he realized he's just going to bring what he ruled across the world. He can't get away from it. So that may be how you feel. Like you can't get away from it and just might as well. That's the other side of the coin that you could see. But you're luckily in a life where you get to choose. You, do, you truly do get to choose. Do you get up at this time or that time? Do you brush your teeth at this time or that time? Do you eat this or eat that? Those are choices, though, they're not. So if you really didn't have a choice, then you might as well just eat freaking oatmeal all the time or freaking something nasty all, all the time every day because you have no choice. But you do have a choice, obviously. Magical Map Shifter. Spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. When the Magical Map Shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth. Perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best you, that you can be, or someone who leads you out of difficulty and into a place of safety or success. Pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today and cause you to reflect on your journey. Be awake and aware, and you'll recognize them for the important change agents they are. Your whole perspective about who you are and why you're here will shift. The magical map shifter always initiates you into a better version of yourself. The magical map shifter card may bring you the opposite of what you see. Perhaps you're in denial about your situation and refuse to see the truth. Or maybe you've been traveling down a path that has constantly led you to a field of poppies, where you fall asleep and dream of desires that never find their form to have the life you really want. You must match its vibrational energy and resonate with it. Sometimes the greatest hurts and disappointments are what awaken us to our need to shift to a higher frequency. If your heart aches because someone is breaking it, this discomfort will lead you to a more authentic life. Don't linger in the pain or blame the magical map shifter for alerting you to the illusion of you clung to. Know that treasure lies elsewhere and can be recovered once you've held the wound that is reflected in those who come to you as catalysts or growth. As you experience yourself transforming into the highest version of yourself, you'll, be, you'll come to understand that you're always fortunate when you meet up with a magical map shifter. And that was your reading Aries for December 2021. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next month.